Hello, my name is Rod Duncan and I'm going to read to you from the opening of the trilogy known as the Map of Unknown Things. And the first book in that trilogy, which is where we start, is The Queen of All Crows. And what I'm going to read to you is a, a prologue to this novel, which actually serves as a prologue to the entire sequence because it raises, I suppose, the themes and issues that we're going to meet and it is what sends our protagonist on a quest to the very ends of the earth. And this little short piece is uh, an account of the strange history of the airship American Frontier. For passengers on the AS American Frontier, at a cruising altitude of 8,000 feet, the moment the world changed was preceded by a vision of beauty. The shadow of their airship fleeting over moonlit cloud. Here and there the dark surface of the Atlantic was revealed in breaks between the white. From one such break came flashes like distant lightning. Passengers looked down in wonder through the cabin windows as bright streaks lanced up towards them. It was only when they heard the scream of bullets that panic set in, impacts clattered against the engine and rear compartment, then came the thuds of fatter, slower projectiles ripping into the canopy. The great machine tilted back and began to fall. Every loose thing slid or tumbled towards the rear of the carriages. Smoke poured from the engines as they battled the inevitable pull of gravity. From a distance, the end seemed slow, dreadfully slow, yet magnificent. In the vast span of the civilised world, no gun existed that could have brought down an airship from such a height, and it was inconceivable that one could have been manufactured in the chaos that lay beyond. Yet it happened, and the world changed. Some would later argue that the downing of the American frontier proved history to be a tide that no one could hold back. Others would cite it as evidence that change comes chaotically through the sparking genius of great minds afterwards. Thank you very much.